Hey guys, what's up? It's Steve. So today we're going to be taking a look at the Tapa-Q. So if you're not familiar with what the Tapa-Q is, this is a uh, Wi-Fi food and pit uh, monitoring device. And so what this is going to allow you to do is that versus other um, options like Bluetooth or um, you know radio frequency devices, this is going to allow you to monitor your cook from anywhere you're at on your phone. It basically ties into your, your home Wi-Fi network and then you can just monitor your cook wherever you're at. So um, pretty straightforward, amazing little device. So let's go ahead and take a look. Okay, so this is everything that comes in the box. Uh, this is the Tapa-Q uh, right here. It's got a single antenna on it right here on this one side. You've got the uh, USB cable that you're going to be using to connect the Tapa Q to your computer for uh, your setup and any additional configuration you want to do. Um, you've got your uh, power cable here. And then it comes with four of these hybrid probes. So these are going to be able to monitor your pit temps or food temps. Okay, so on the unit itself, on this uh, side panel here, you can see our four probe inputs, our USB input, and our power input. And this is just a quick shot to show you uh, how you would connect it to either your Mac or PC. So we've just got, the, we've got it plugged into the power there, and then it's going from mini USB uh, out of the Tapa Q to the uh, USB slot on my MacBook Air there. All right, so I'm, I'm out here at my rec tech and uh, let me go ahead and walk you through my cook. So since the Tapa Q does come with four probes, I just wanted to go ahead and give you an example of uh, how you can utilize this system. So I've got one probe right here that is monitoring the uh, temperature of my pit here. And uh, of course, this is a pellet grill. It's gonna kind of regulate itself. But if you were on an offset uh, stick burner or you know, some sort of charcoal grill with, uh, you know, that's not really automated like a pellet grill, then you know it's going to be really nice to have a a uh, probe measuring your pit temp. And then the other three, I've got a nice little tri tip over here that I'm cooking up, and then a uh, three different chicken breasts. But I've got probes and two of them so you can just you know you could actually if you had two cookers ne next to each other you could have two uh, probes monitoring the temp of two pits as well as probes and two other pieces of food so you have all kinds of flexibility here okay so here's just a little shot of uh, the Tapa Q that I've got sitting over to the left uh, of my rec tech so I've got again all four probes working on this cook and I've got my uh, pit probe set there on number one and then my tri-tip is number two and then the two ch uh, chicken breasts I'm monitoring on three and four so uh, it's pretty neat that you kind of have just a heads up display uh, on this obviously you know the whole idea behind the Tapa Q is that you're going to be watching this on your phone or tablet but if you do walk outside um, just kind of come check things out. You've got a heads up display. All right guys, so um, what I did was I walked um, all the way across the house into my bedroom, um, uh, which is pretty far away from the back porch where I'm doing my cook. My Bluetooth or radio uh, devices uh, don't reach out this far. I've done tests before, so I kind of just wanted to show you um, you know, just an example of how you can literally just kind of be wherever you're at and uh, be able to monitor your cook. So here's the Tapa Q app that you download from the um, App Store or uh, Google Play Store. So we're just going to start a new session and you can call this whatever. I'm just going to call it test. Hit next. And since I am using all four probes, you could come in here and just give these different names. Now all these presets that you're seeing, um, they're kind of straight out of the box, but you can configure them or you can create your new ones. So like this one right here that's called Pit, that's one that I configured because uh, probe one is the probe I'm using for the Pit out there. 
And then I know that the tri-tip is on probe two, so I can come beef, medium, rare. But in a second, you'll see that I'm actually gonna go change that up because I think it's set too high. And probe three is poultry. So you see breast right there. I'm cooking some chicken breasts. And uh, same thing for probe four. Let me click in there. And Okay, there we go. So we'll hit next. And um, so this is kind of where it's like showing you the straight out of the box for the beef, poultry settings. You can kind of see what the out of the box settings are. For medium rare for this tri-tip, 140 is way too high. So I'm pulling this down to like 115 and then I'll make that like 130 because I'm going to pull it at like 125. And for poultry, I'll make it like one, uh, 150 to, well, we'll do 155 to uh, 170. It just kind of gives you a range. I'm going to pull it at 165. So pretty straightforward. So we'll just hit next. And then... Um, we're going to use uh, my iPhone to alert me when certain temps are hit and we'll just hit start session. And then we just go to view current session and we click on Steve's top of queue. All right. So now we're just going to go ahead and do, uh, we're going to click on, you have different options, current temperatures, um, alerted devices. You have a graph of your cook. Um, quick temperature view and end session. I'm just going to click on quick temperature view. You can see down here where it says the TAPIQ Wi-Fi is connected. So this is a cool little screen. You, you know, we named our probes and um, it's giving us some uh, alerts here. And uh, we can just close this out and come up here to current temperatures. Okay. And so this is again showing us what we have uh, are certain, um, uh, you know, probe set to. So this is the pit. I've got it between 200 and 275, but this is the current readout. So my rec tech is at 275 right now. If we come look at the tri-tip, it's sitting at 98. This one chicken breast is at 118. And this chicken breast is at 119. Okay, so you can come in here on the fly during the cook and tweak up any of these uh, ranges or anything and click save and uh, and that's it and so you basically can just you can set your cook up take off and go do errands go hang out with some friends do whatever you want and be able to monitor your entire cook from this app so um, this is an amazing amazing device incredibly simple to set up and uh, i'm really stoked on it so uh, I've got a link in the description. Definitely go check out TapaQ and um, let me know what you think in the comments. I appreciate you guys watching. We'll see you again soon.